given is 
is x plus y is equal to 4. So, draw a graph of linear equations where the equation is given x plus y is equal to 4. This is the first equation and the second equation is given as 2x minus y is equal to 2. So we have to draw graphs for these two linear equations and we have to graphically solve the equations. Equations solve karne manjes x and y g value determine karne find it. So step 1 first find four ordered pairs four ordered pairs of x and y. The pahila apne h pahila apne ya pahila equation ki ordered pair karu. You can take any values of x and y. x ki kutli value tumhe kya and you can determine the value of y. I will give an example. Let us say let us say first x is equal to 0. So I will take x is equal to 0. Put the value of x is equal to 0 plus y is equal to 4. What does it mean? It, does, it means that when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 4. So I will put the value 4 here. So I will get a pair, ordered pair as 0, 4. X value is 0, y value is 4, so we got 0 and 4. That is the first pair we got. Similarly, we will put another value. We can put any value, but we will put some whole numbers or easy values, so we can do the calculations easily. <coughs> now, for convenience, I will put y is equal to 0. So if I put down here y is equal to 0 plus x and that is equal to 4. Right? So just check x plus y is equal to 4, y is equal to 0, x is equal to 4. So here I'll get the value 4. Right? I'll get the value 4. So I got the second ordered pair x is equal to 4 comma 0. I can take some other values. I will take 1 minus value and 1 plus value. So I will take x as minus 1. I will take x as a minus 1. So this is the first one. This is the second one. Now the third one. x is equal to minus 1 plus y is equal to 4. That means if I take minus 1 on the right hand side, I will get y is equal to minus 1 plus 4 is equal to 5. So I will get here the 5. So I got the ordered pair of minus 1 comma 5. And the last one fourth, I can take another value. On that I can take let us say plus 2. I will take x as a 2 plus y is equal to 4. If you take 2 on this side, it will be 4 minus 2. So y is equal to 2. Here I will get x is equal to 4. And here I will get y is equal to 4. So here y is equal to 2. So here it is 2. So I will get the ordered pair of 2 comma 2. So this is the, this is for x plus y is equal to 4. Right. Now, we will do the similar thing for 2x minus y is equal to. So first, let me put x is equal to 0. If I put 0 here, so 2 into 0 minus y is equal to 2. So this will become 
0 minus y is equal to 2. So I will get y is equal to minus 2. So minus sign equal to get love. So y is equal to minus 2. So I will get the value 0 minus 2. I'll put the second one. I'll put the second one as y is equal to 0. I'll put y is equal to 0. So 2x minus 0 is equal to 2. So I'll get x. 2x is equal to 2. So x is equal to 1. So I'll get x is equal to 1. So I got the ordered pair 1, 0. Then the third one, I can take minus value. So x, I can take minus value. x is equal to minus 2. So I'll put here 2 into minus 2 minus y is equal to 2. Minus 2 into 2 minus 4. So I'll get here the y as equal to minus 4 minus y is equal to 2. So minus so minus y is equal to plus 6, so y is equal to minus 6. So we got the value of y is equal to minus 6. The fourth one we can take. So it's uh, is equal to minus 6. So we'll get the pair of minus 2, minus 6. Right? And the fourth one, I can take it 3. x is equal to 3. So if I put 3 here, 3 to the 6 minus y is equal to 2. So I'll get y is equal to 4. So I'll get y is equal to 4. So y is equal to 4. You can check it out. So this is 3 comma. So this is what, this is how we got the ordered pairs of both the equations. This is for so this is for 2x minus y is equal to. Okay. So let's draw the graph of these two. We can plot this graph second step. We'll plot the graph of x plus y is equal to 4. So 0, x is 0 and y is equal to 4. 0 and 4. So we got this is the first point. 0 and 4. Second is x is equal to 4, y is equal to 0. So this is a 4 and y is equal to 0. So we got this second point. Okay. Then x is equal to minus 1. x is equal to minus 1 and y is equal to 5. So we will be somewhere here. So we will be somewhere here. So I'll rub this one and take 5 on this side. Okay. And plus 2 and plus 2. So this is a plus 2 and plus 2. So I will get some value. Okay, so I think uh, we are in a straight line. So if I plot like this, if I plot plus 2 and plus 2 here, then I get this value here. So I can plot a line from here to here. I hope you are getting this. So this is the graph of x plus y is equal to 4. So this is the graph of x plus y is equal to 4. Okay. I think it's quite clear from the figure. Now we draw the second graph of this line. So when x is equal to 0, y is equal to minus 2. So this is the value. First point for this one. When x is equal to 1, y is equal to 0. So this is the second point. Right? Third minus 2, x is equal to minus 2 here and minus 6. So x is equal to minus 2. So minus 2 is here and minus 6 is here. So somewhere we'll get. So we'll get somewhere here the value. This is minus 2, minus 6. And 3 and 4. So 3 here and 4 here. So, so we'll get the value somewhere here. So I think A, 1, 2, 3, 4. They are, they are in, in line. They are in line. So we can draw the graph now. So I think. the right 
So this is the graph for 2x minus y is equal to 2. So it's a crystal clear now that this, this graph of x plus y is equal to 4 and this graph of 2x minus y is equal to 2. They cross each other at this point. And the coordinate of this one is 2 comma 2. 2 comma 2. So, what does it signify? It signifies that this point is common for both the equations. It lies on the line 2x minus y is equal to 2. As well as this point lies on the line x plus y is equal to 4. So I will name this point as P. I will say this is a, so I write on like this way, P to common. And P is, is the point of, the point of intersection. And is common to both the equations. Hence, hence, these are the solution, this is the solution of these two linear equations. Plus y is equal to 4 and 2x minus y is equal to 2. And the value of x is equal to 2 and y is also equal to so this is how we can solve any linear equations with the help of a graph. So it's called a graphical method to solve two linear equations. Okay. Now it depends to validate this. Whether this value are correct or not, let's verify. How we can verify? We can verify by our method of elimination. Method of Elimination. We can do by this way. So method of elimination, this is the first equation we have. So this is the first equation. And then we'll add here the other equation. So 2x minus y is equal to 2. This is the second. So this is a plus y minus y. I can simply add. This will get cancelled. 3x is equal to 6. So x is equal to so this is the first answer we got. This value we will put in one, one equation number when well, putting this value, putting this value in equation 1. So we will get 2 plus y is equal to 4. So y is equal to 4 minus 2 and that is equal to 2. So we got the paired equation xy is equal to 2 comma 2 and this is the exactly same as the point what we got on this graph. I hope this clarifies how to solve two linear equations by graphical method. First draw the tables, find four, pair, four pairs, ordered pairs of both the equations, draw them and the point of intersection will give you the solution of that two linear equations. Go to page number 8 of your book.
students this is the exercise for you so there are six questions practice set 1.2 page number 7 you have to solve this by graphical method and you have to check your answers by using elimination method that means you have to do graphically as well as you have to do mathematically hope this will clear your concepts about linear equations solving the linear equations thank you see when we draw the graph right of two equations we know both the equations are linear equations so both the graphs are straight lines right but there can be certain conditions see uh, first first the lines so let us say equation number one a one x plus b one y is equal to c one this is the first equation second is a two x plus b two y is equal to c two is second equation right so if we draw a graph of these two equations we can get three types of conditions or three situations we get what situations we get so the first is that first I'll write down image of that I'll write down here they will intersect they will intersect like the same what we have seen here so they will intersect and the point of intersection will be the solution of this two equation second condition they will be parallel to each other parallel to each other which for example suppose the high x suppose this is the this is the first line and then another line this is the one equation and another equation like this way and both are parallel for example this is the a1x plus b1y is equal to c1 and this is a2x plus b2y is equal to c2 and both these graphs are parallel to each other that means there won't be any point of intersection between these two if the, if the two equations are such that the graphs of the graphs are parallel to each other that means there is no solution for the equation so that can be the second condition and third condition they can overlap each other overlap each other manje ka so let us say if this is one line this is let us say a1x plus b1y plus c1 and if you plot another graph on the same on the same graph then you will see that the another line is coinciding with the first line this is a2x plus b2y is equal to c2 so this line and this line both lines are the same right that means they are on each other when they can actually both the lines are same they are the same lines so in your case what is going to happen so that we can find out so basically if we draw graphs of two lines then we will get these three types of solutions one they will intersect point of intersection will be the solution of the equations they will be parallel to each other in that case there won't be any point of intersection so there will not be any solution for the two equations and third they will overlap each other so in that case there will be many points which are common to this both there will be many 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 means all the points on the line are common to both the equations that means if they overlap each other it will be only one the graph only one line and there will be many solutions in fact there will be infinite solutions of these two equations so this is the first
first type we have already seen here, right? Second type they are overlap each other. So this is what we are going to see now, and then we'll see how we can uh, identify whether the lines are parallel or not. So this is what is our today's activity. We'll take one equation of the graph. Let us say 2x minus y. So we'll take 2x minus y is equal to 2. Right? So this is the first equation. How to plot the graph? Last time we have done, we have taken x, y and x1. Right? So we'll do the same thing. We'll take four points. Right? So let x be 0. If I put 0 here, minus y is equal to 2. So y is equal to minus 2. So we'll get 0 minus 2. This is the first. Second, I can say y is equal to 0. If I put y is equal to 0, 2x is equal to 2. So x is equal to 2 will come on this side. x is equal to 1. So I'll get 1 and 0. So this is the second one. Right? Third one, if I take y is equal to, if I take y, uh, x is equal to, you can assume 4 and then this is a 3. So we can say 3 here. So x is 3 to the 6 and 6 on this side. So if I bring 6 it will be minus 4. So 6, so minus 4, minus y will be equal to minus 4. So this will be the 4. So 3 and 4. And then we can take another point which is minus 1 we can take it or minus 6 we can take it. Minus 6 if I take on this side it will be plus 6, 6 plus 2, 8, 8 divided by so this will be minus 6 on y so it will be 4, minus 6. So if I put minus 6 here it will be 6, 8 so 8 divided by 2 equal to minus 2. So this is equal to minus 6 minus 2. So you correct it, we put here, if it is 2x minus y is equal to minus 6, so that is equal to 2. So minus minus plus 2x plus 6 is equal to 2. So 2x is equal to 2 minus 6. So 2x is equal to minus 4. So x is equal to minus 2. So that is how this is the minus 2. So just note this one because there is a possibility of being a mistake between this minus and this minus. I hope this clarifies you. Okay. If I plot for this, if I plot for this, let me do it now. Take it on this side. So this is x y x y so I'll take x is equal to 0 if x is equal to 0 minus 2y is equal to 4 so y is equal to minus 2 so 0 minus 2 if I take y is equal to 0 this will become 0 4x is equal to x 4 so x is equal to 1 this is a 1 0 if I take x is equal to minus 2, I'll put x is equal to minus 2. So if I put x is equal to minus 2, then 4 into minus 2, minus 2y is equal to 4. So minus 8, minus 2y is equal to 4. So minus 2y is equal to 4 plus 8. So minus 2y is equal to 12. So minus y is equal to minus 6. So y is equal to plus 6. So this is plus 6. So this is equal to minus 6. Minus 0 to minus 6. So it's a minus 2 minus 6. Right. And then if I put here the value of 3, x is 3, 3, 4 is 12, 12 is on this side. So if I put this is a 4 into 3, minus 2y is equal to 4. So 12 minus 2y is equal to 4. So minus 2y is equal to 4 minus 12. So minus 2y is equal to minus 8. So, so y is equal to 4. So y is equal to 4. So, three, four, right. so if you look at these two points, I have taken the same points as of the first equation and I got the same y points 
as the equation 1. So that means I will plot the same, I will plot the graph of this equation on the same line itself because this is the line, right? This is the line. So for this line, this, this is the line and for this equation also, the points are same. So this is nothing but 4x minus 2y is equal to 4. So the only way to mother, but you have to mother, to mother, you have equation with the stuff. But graph matter is the same. My lines are very the same. The lines are same because we, the points are same. And there are many points which are common between these two lines. Ek pe cover two lines. Ek line she draw ke liye, dusri line the over line liye. So there are many points. There are infinity points which are common between these two. So this is what is basically uh, when the equations are same but they look different. Other two ni mein name ka kai hai, kai farak hai, and kai nahi hai. Ye apun bhagun do. So ये थोड़ा लिहून गया, पॉस करा, ये लिहून गया अगर ये दोन इक्वेशन में नेम को का आया है कि जैसे हम उन आपके लास सेम लाइन में लेते दाथ अगर आपन दोन इक्वेशन आपन जवल जवल आपन लिए So we will draw, we will make it nearby So this is a 2x, now this is a 4x minus 2y is equal to Right? Dusra upon we can mind we can 
write down V1 upon V2 is equal to C1 upon C2. It implies that V1 C2 is equal to V2 C1. So A1 B2 is equal to A2 B1. A1 B2 is equal to A2 B1. 2 into 2, 4, minus 4. 4 into minus 1, minus 4. Yeah, case 1. So minus 2, minus 2, minus 4. 4 into minus 1, minus 4. So if you cross multiply any figures, you will get the same answer. 2 into 4, 8. 4 into 2, 8. So in that case, the line is same. And there are infinite solutions of that particular I think this clearly clarifies your, you know, um, uh, equations for same line. Okay. So we do not get the important thing. We put up the matrices in the line. We put up the minutes in the line. So ratio of A1 upon A2 is equal to B1 upon B2 is equal to C1 upon C2. The teeny ratio is equal to the teeny ratio. If you have a ratio equal to the Tini ratio equal by it, then we can say the line is same. Tumcha book made a let's go to the page number nine and then you can see are the graphs with the same same one two x minus y and four x minus two y. So similar sort of uh, graph is given for some other equation. Are the graphs for both equations different or same? It is the same for both the equations. What are the solutions of these two equations? What are the solutions for these two equations? There are infinite solutions for these two equations because all the points are common for both the lines. So, what are the relationship between coefficients of x, coefficient of y and the constant constant term in both the equations. That don't equation with a kind relationship I have. We have learned just now a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 is equal to c1 upon c2. What conclusion can you draw when two equations are given but the graph is only one line? Graph the a cafe. So to me kind conclusion can not only equations are so we conclude that the equations are same and the line is same. So that is the uh, contained on page number 9 of your book. <coughs> you go to the page number 10, there is an exercise, draw a graph of x minus 2y is equal to 4 and 2x minus 4y is equal to 12. Other tap page on the level use GeoGebra software. Other GeoGebra software you can go to Google and you can search for this software. You can download the software. It is like a graph paper and there are some icons and you can input these equations and the graphs will be drawn automatically. It's an easy tool to draw the graph. So, let us discuss about this and then draw some conclusion. Pahela sangha wala ki he ji don equation ji ahe ki veg vege ahe ka same ahe. See, if I multiply this equation by 2, it's a 2x minus 4y is equal to 8. If I multiply, multiply equation 1 with 2, we get, what we get, we get 2x minus 2y is equal to 8. So this is the third equation we get, right? This is the a1 and a2, b1 and b2, and c1 and c2, right? So not this one, right? So A1 upon A2 
कितने दिन हो गया वन अपॉन टू बी वन अपॉन बी टू इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू अपॉन माइनस फोर दैट इज इक्वल टू वन बाय टू एंड सी वन अपॉन सी टू दैट इज इक्वल टू फोर अपॉन ट्वेल्व एंड दैट इज इक्वल टू टू बाय वन बाय थ्री सो दिस टू आर इक्वल दिस टू आर इक्वल बट सी वन एंड सी टू आर नॉट इक्वल टू a1 by a2 and b1 by b2 so this does not satisfy the condition of same line equal line that means these two equations are not for the same line because c1 upon c2 is not equal to a1 upon a2 or b1 upon b2 but a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 if you go on geogebra you will find the lines are parallel so what conclusion we can draw from here if a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 but not equal to c1 upon c2 then the lines are then the lines are parallel to each other so this is a important conclusion we are drawing from this two equation in this two equation you will find a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 but not equal to c1 upon c2 so that implies the lines are parallel to each other hence there are no solutions so there are no solutions for these two equations so no solution for these equations i think you are you are understanding the concept behind this one if they cross each other the common point intersection point will give the solution to equations if a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 is equal to c1 upon c2 then both the equations are same it's only one line and there are infinite points which are common between that two equations and third case where a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 in this case a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 but is not equal to c1 upon c2 then the lines are parallel to each other but they are not the same equations and in that case there is no solution 